G'day guys, welcome back. Look, it's acrylic pouring day today and um, I'm going to revisit the pearl pours. Hopefully you guys know what a pearl pour is. Here's one, here's one I did earlier. <laughs> so this one has got the gold pearls and then I layered black with red and yellow into a cup and then I poured on top of the gold puddle, tilted, it went over the edges and the gold pearls popped up. So I'm going to go along something like this, but instead of doing a puddle of gold metallic in the middle, I'm going to go with different colours. So instead of having the colours in my cup and pouring them in, I'm going to have the colours on the canvas and then I'm just going to pour black in and just see if we can get like multicoloured pearls instead of just gold pearls. So that's what I'm going to try today. I haven't tried it before, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so I'm just using Floetrol. This is the Aussie Floetrol. I think you guys can get it in the US now. Um, I think it's I think it's under a different name, like Floetrol for pouring or something like that. Anyway, they've obviously cottoned on that this is a good product and they've remarketed it as something else. So uh, gold. It's the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I find that the Extreme Sheen does the best pearls. If you can't get the Extreme Sheen, oh, let me get you a, a jar. Hang on one sec. I have done experiments with, with both. And to tell you the truth, I really couldn't see any difference between the two. And if it was, it was like 1% different. Uh, but you can use this one if you can't find that one. It's Americana Decor in the 24K Gold. Okay, so either one. This one is thicker though. So the recipe I'm using today for this one is 30 grams of Extreme Sheen, which is one ounce, to 30 grams of Floetrol, one ounce. Okay, so that's that. If you're going to do that, you probably have to mm, maybe double the Floetrol because that's much thicker. So we've got the gold. We have the purple, which is amethyst, mixed up the same way, 50-50. I don't know that I need quite all this color because normally I would just do one blob of gold and then pour into it so I might I might get two pours out of it I might not use all that because I don't think it's going to be I think it's going to be way too much and this one is the aquamarine and then the pink one is pink tourmaline there you go not sure what tourmaline is but anyway right so no silicone oil in these let's just get started I'll tell you about the black in a minute so yeah because normally like I said I would only use say you know that size puddle of gold because I really want to stretch it because if you've got too much paint the um, pearls can't get through so less is more so um, yeah I'm not sure if it's going to work but anyway and then let's do a little bit of purple I'm going to kind of mix the colours a little bit. A little bit of the teal colour. A little bit of the pink. The circles are getting bigger as I go though, so let's do some more gold. There we go. Maybe a little bit more of this one. <laughs> oh, but now we need more purple as well because everyone else has got two and the purple's only got one. See, the colours on the outside are going to be the ones that get flipped over the, the most. They're going to get tilted off. So I kind of think I need two layers. Like, let's just move these out of the way. So you've got enough to do another pour there, hopefully. Now my black. It is 120 grams of Floetrol, four ounces. 120 grams of Artist Loft flow acrylic black which is four ounces so equal parts artist flow to flow troll and then I added 20 grams of water which is just under an ounce leaves a little bit of a mound I guess that would be the consistency I would use for an acrylic pour like a flip cup pour right where will we put you put you there okay 
Oh, here we go. I'm nervous, you guys. Let me see if we're still taping. It's been so what, long since I've done one of these pours. All right, so I'm just going to pour into the middle. I want the colours all to churn and mix. So here we go. Doesn't need to be a ring pour or anything because I've got no colours in here. Just a straight pour into the middle. And hopefully we'll get some pretty multicolored pearls coming up. Go away, fly. All right, that's it. Now I'm just going to torch to get rid of some of these bubbles on top. There's a lot of bubbles there. <clears throat> All right, now when it comes to tilting, it's pretty much just over, 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 leave. But we'll see what happens, okay? You don't want to be tilting too slow, you just want to move the color really quickly. You want the black to go over the top of the other colors. So over, back to the middle, over, back to the middle, over, back to the middle. Have to make sure you got enough paint to cover the surface, but um, not too much that you can't stretch your paint out. So you really need to stretch it out. Okay, and I might just come back again to the middle. All right, so you can see we're getting some pearls popping up around the edges. Oh, I don't have my cloth today. <gasps> see, I was so out of practice, I didn't even get my cloth. So I've been doing resin and I don't need a damp cloth for resin. I use my baby wipes. All right, oh look, we're getting pearls, we're getting pearls. <clears throat> so the last corner that you go over, you tend not to get as many because with these ones, you go over and you come back, you go over and you come back, you go over and you come back. This one you go over, you don't, you don't really come back again because you don't need to move it again. See, that purple's taking over, isn't it? All right, let's um, see, I was gonna just do rings initially um, but then I ended up like putting the colors on top of each other. So we're getting multi colors, but like I said, I've still got some left. So maybe I can do another one where I actually do like a gold ring and then an aqua ring and then a purple ring to keep the colors more separate. All right, let's torch. See if we can get some more pearls to come up. Whether or not we can, I don't know. There's a lot of black there in the middle. Sometimes you just have to wait. Because if your black in the middle is too thick <clears throat> or is too much, it's really hard for this, the cells or pearl, well they're not really cells, um, for the pearls to pop up through the black. So it's all in, it just takes practice with how much paint to actually use um, and the consistency to use. But if you use, if you've got my products and you use my, well, my, my products, but if you've got the same products I'm using and you use my recipe, um, hopefully you'll get the same results. All right, so now we're, I'm not getting any more by torching. So now what I just have to do is um, is we'll just wait. I'll put the I'll put my camera on pause and I'll come back to you in about oh maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll just see what happens. And um, see if we can get any more to pop up. So there's a lot of, like these little ones here. They'll pop up and they'll grow a little bit. But I don't know if I'm going to get any more in the middle there. I hope so, but I don't know. <clears throat> My black might have been a little bit thick. No, I don't, I don't think so. Because see how the cells here on the edges, see they're going a little bit wobbly. <clears throat> if your mix is too thin, um, you know, they tend to go a little bit wobbly rather than stay nice and round. But then also they pop up and you tilt them. So then you're you're moving their shape as well. So, yeah, like I said, it's just practice. So I'll come back to you in about whatever, however long it takes for more to pop up, if any more pop up. And uh, we'll see you soon. 
Hey guys, it's only been about 10 minutes. I don't think anything else is going to, to happen. Looks as if my purple may have been a little bit thinner than the other colors. See how it's really taken over? And in that top, right, uh, top left hand corner there, you can see there's a big mass of purple and um, the shapes are quite irregular. So that's telling me that they're not really staying in their round shape because they're kind of popping up and stretching because maybe the mix was a little bit on the thin side. So I've added a little bit more purple to my leftover paints because I can go again because I've still got still got some paint mixed up. I just have to make up, make up some more um, black. But let's go in and have a look. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's like a chameleon, all these different colors popping up in the, in the pearls. So once it's dry, it's gonna be really sparkly because of the metallics used. What do you think? Do you like this one? I don't even think I can pick up the shine. It's a bit difficult to do it. So we've got a big black section in the middle, which <clears throat> is a bit of a shame, but maybe I used a little bit too much black. That's okay. I actually like the, I like them to have some negative space. So you always do get that black section in the middle but yeah it just depends on how much black you put in maybe I can get away with a little bit less black but you can see I really had to stretch it over that last corner so if you don't have enough black you end up um, having to really overstretch everything so there we go <laughs> I really like it rainbow pearls really pretty let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll do another one. Not today, because I want to get on and do some resin now. I'll move this out of the way and do some resin, but I will do another one shortly. Oh, there's my reflection of my, my stand. There's my ring light. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Take care. Love you all. Bye for now.